Hello and welcome to LabRite. Today my experimenting with hardening leather pays off and I show you how to make hardened leather bracers like these. So, if you're interested in that, stay tuned and I show you exactly how I made these. We start by taking some measurements growing all the armor we want to wear under the bracers we need length the circumference of your wrist and the circumference of your lower arm and not the whole circumference just what you want to cover with the braces. Make a small template right here on my cardboard and then proceed to draw it onto the cardboard with my Taylor's triangle and then I will cut it out. And I can already tell you this round piece, this curvature at the narrower part of the bracer you don't need it. I will actually cut it out later in this video. Cut out using my brake knife. Now it's time to try it on, see how it fits, and then start modifying the shape until it fits nicely. So here goes the curvature. And here goes a little bit on the elbow part. And a little bit more so I can really bend my arm. Let's try it without the armor. And I want to have this symmetrical, so they're the same left and right. Now that I'm happy with the shape, I'm transferring it to 4mm thick kettle leather that is naturally tanned, because this can be colored and hardened. And having this cardboard template makes it, of course, super easy to transfer it and cut it out. That's one. Turn it around. Not really necessary because this is a symmetric design. But if it weren't, you want to make sure you have a left and right side and put it the right way around onto your leather. These are the buckles I got for the straps and I'm figuring out where I want to fasten the straps and punch the holes. I want to do this before hardening the leather because at this point I'm not sure how hard it will get. Film this in my kitchen because this oven pan was the only thing large enough to actually hold the bracers. Once again, I'm using a 50-50 mix of beeswax and canalba wax. And I'm putting it into an old Teflon wok to heat it up and mix it, because this will take a really long time in the oven. Now that it's mixed, I transfer it to the oven pan. Careful not to spill too much, to be honest.
and then I started to run some tests with temperatures to see what would be the optimal temperature to harden the leather. I started with 50 degrees, but that didn't even melt the wax. But at about 70, 80 degrees, it was molten. And I put a small piece of leather in there for about 10 minutes till it was really, really soaked. Of course, this whole process really messed up my kitchen and especially my oven. I'm putting my second piece in at 100 degrees and again letting it soak for 10 minutes. So after the whole crafting process, I uh, had to clean my kitchen thoroughly and especially the oven, I actually burned out all the wax that was left in it running the oven at maximum temperature for about half an hour till no more smoke came out. Final piece at about 150 degrees and this one actually boiled like in my experiments with bubbles rising from the leather. After about 10 minutes when the bubbles stopped rising I pulled the final piece out and switched off the oven to let it cool down a bit so it would be easier to get the desired temperature once I settled on one of the three. Oh, 70 degree one was hard like PVC plastic and it didn't break when I bent it, kind of just the wax break, but the leather held in its integrity. The 100 degree one was hard as well, just as hard, not any harder, but it kind of cracked when I bent it. And the 150 degree one was just as hard as the other two, but it really cracked and broke when I bent it. So I settled on the 70 to 80 degree one to harden my leather braces. This is pretty tough, but it won't break. After running the oven about half an hour at 80 degrees, so all the wax is at the desired temperature, I put my braces in there Make sure they are all covered in wax and let them sit for about 10 minutes. Take them out and form them on this PVC pipe, trying to get as much wax off as possible. And I'm wearing rubber gloves and at this temperature that is sufficient hand protection. And forming them and using a wet towel has helped make them cool down faster. Now back at the workshop. I'm using some hot water to get them flexible again, which works great, and give them the final shape right there on my arm, on the armor, and it's not too hot. Now that they are drenched in wax, the leather is actually very water repellent. This gives me the final shape. Even after this process, there's still a lot of excess wax on the braces. I'm sure you can polish that out with a bit of oil and a rough towel, but I decided against it. Kind of gives it a rustic look, and I think most of it will brush off when I use the braces. This is about 2 mm thick cattle leather and I'm just cutting some leather straps. About 20 mm wide. And I'm punching holes in it, one of them long 
to fasten the buckle onto this. And I'm using some brass hollow rivets. They are not as strong as iron rivets, but I think they look nicer than my black iron ones. And using my riveting tools, I fasten this. Now it's time to give them a good oiling because this is the last time it's easy to do so before they go onto the bracers. Time to fasten then and the holes we already punched. And make sure these rivets are really secure. Actually off camera I decided they needed a little bit more securing. Pulled out my anvil and hammered them a few more times. Make sure this wouldn't fall apart so easily. And as I'm running these straps all around on the outside, so I thought it looked nice, but it will also help to elevate the tension on the rivets. So I think these brass rivets will be fine. But if it breaks too often, I will just replace them with my iron rivets and be done with it. And after this I do the other one, making sure the buckles will go on the other side. And that finishes the build. Then I will go ahead and film the intro for this video. And it's done. Two hardened leather bracers. That's it for today. Hope you liked this video. Thanks and goodbye.